Hello everyone, I welcome you all to our channel Let's Learn Automation and in this session we are going to see a different type of uh, method that is called as a block. So for that I will create a new class and will name it like blocks. So first of all let's try to understand the concept over here. So here I will write down the definition of that. So there are two types of block, static block and instance block. So static block is executed at the time of loading of class in a JVM memory, we can say that. So if we need to write down the static block, then we can write down like here in a class, just we can use the word like static and this is what the static block so I will write down here statement this is static block so this is what the static block and it is going to load it into uh, memory whenever class file is going to get loaded so that's why we can say that first of all static block will be executed then there is an instance block so if we create the block like this so this is called as an instance block so I can write down one sentence over here this is instance block so the difference is like st static block having the stat name as a static and this block does not have any name so that is called as an instance block so it is like a method which has no name then we can write uh, instance block inside the class not method it is executed before the constructor so this particular instance block is going to execute it before the constructor so first of all static block will get executed then instance block, block will, get, uh, will be executed then other things will be executed depending upon the our calling or we can say that if we are going to create a constructor or using the constructor so constructor will be executed so first of all static then instant then constructor then method depending upon our calling so it is executed before the constructor then variable can be declared inside the instance block not a method so in this block we cannot declare any method then to execute instance block object should be declared means for execution of instance block we need to create the object of the class so here we have the one static block which having the name like static and we have a no name block that is called as an instance block so if i am going to try execute this program like this so we are giving we are getting the output like this is the static block this is the static block we are not getting the output of this instance block because this block will get executed if we are going to create the object of the class and here there is no object in the main method but here we can see that we haven't called the static block but by default it get executed because as per definition it is executed at the time of loading of class file in the JVM memory so whenever the program is going to execute first of all if there is a static block then that is going to execute first then if we declare the or create the object then instance block will get executed and other are rest of the thing so here I will create one object like block class name object name like this and now if I execute it so we are getting this is a static block the first and this is instance block now if I try to create uh, the constructor so like this is our constructor and I will write down like this is constructor so now if I execute this again, so here we can see that we are getting the execution of static block, instance block and constructor. So if we create the object, then instance block, uh, block will execute and if we have the constructor in a program, then definitely constructor will be executed. And now if we have any method, so like void m1, the name of the method can be anything and I will write down here this is m1 method 
and now if I execute this so we are not getting the uh, execution of m1 method because we haven't called this so to execute this method we need to use like m1 dot sorry a dot m1 so now we are getting the execution of everything first of all static block then instance block constructor and finally m1 method because we call this method so if if uh, in our program all these things are available then first of all static block is going to execute because that is first of all loaded into the memory then the instance block will be executed for execution of this block we should have a object available then if there is a constructor then definitely after that constructor will be executed constructor will be executed and if we have the method too then depending upon our calling method will also get executed so these are the two different type of thing like static block and instance block thank you